Hello everyone, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome. Um, today we have another video, we have another haul. In particular, this one is a Zara haul. I know a lot of you guys love when I do these Zara hauls. And so I went to Europe, I went to the Zara there, I went to the largest Zara store that I had ever been to and it was amazing. Um, but I didn't really buy much from that store because I didn't have too much time. So I went online and I just remembered what I saw and added to the cart checked out and here we are so if you're interested in this video stay tuned also if you make it to the end of the video and you have not subscribed to my channel hit the red subscribe button i would really 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 appreciate it all right you guys so boom first outfit so top and bottom are both from zara all right now i just want to let you guys know that a lot of these items you may find pricey and i don't normally spend this much on items at Zara but um, I just feel like this fall or this winter this autumn winter Zara just got it right um, I didn't love Zara last autumn winter um, but this time I love literally everything and I feel like a lot of these pieces I'm gonna have for a long time and also don't mind it straight out of the box there's gonna be some wrinkles but let's talk about this top this top I can wear in the holiday season I could wear it just all year round, basically. Um, you could wear it to work, you could wear it to an event, you could wear it to dinner, so many things you could wear it to. This justifies the price for me. Um, but yeah, look at all these yummy details. These are really pretty, like brassy buttons. Look at these pretty buttons on the sleeve as well. Um, they don't really match. There's like a heart and then just like other kinds, which I think is super cute. Um, I really love the neckline. It has this like bow tie. And then this feels really expensive. This feels like silk. And if you know, silk is super expensive. And then for the pants, these are coated pants. I actually bought these in Milan at the Zara there. Um, I don't like that they're not super high-waisted, but they are mid-rise, but these pants just fit me great and I really loved how they looked on me. But as you can tell, like these pants hit me perfect length on my ankle. It's rare at Zara for me to find pants that fit me perfectly. So I just love them so, so much. And they're not just any plain black jean. They are a coated pant. All right, next I bought jewelry at Zara, which I never ever do. I just really liked how they styled it and their jewelry was different this time around. But unfortunately, it already broke. I'm gonna have to see, I hope that they still accept it um, as a return. Um, but I did really like this necklace. It's almost like a choker. Um, it has like a velvet chain. And then it just has two hearts in a round circle, just like that. So this is how they had it online styled and I really liked it, but fortunately it didn't work out. Also for jewelry, I got this ring set. Um, that was really pretty. Again, I liked it because it was really different, but my fingers are way too small. They just will like literally slide off. Um, but this is what one of them looks like. I thought this was really great for like the holiday time. Um, as you can see, it has like a lot of gems on it. I like this big one. Um, and I really like the big ones really. And then these were just like for stacking and stuff. And so I was really excited about these for the holiday, but I'm hoping they can take this one back as well. Oh, and then I forgot to mention, I got an extra small in this and a size two in the pants. All right, so next I have this jumpsuit. It's like a black and gold leopard print jumpsuit. Um, I fell in love with this just because again, I love how they styled it. Also, this belt is from Zara as well. Zara styled this jumpsuit with a completely different belt. I'm mad that they don't even have it on their site, but I really wanted that belt. So since I couldn't find that, I just went with this one. So this belt's from Zara. I believe I got this belt in size 30, but it was pretty large still. Um, and so I took this belt into a shoe repair guy. Um, so instead of adding holes in the belt, he kind of just like hemmed the belt. So yeah, I want to show you this close up. Um, you can see it has like gold, so it's really nice for holiday, but I feel like you could also use this to like a more like flashy event. I'll show you guys what the bottom looks like. So this jumpsuit is actually, you know, pretty large for me, but because of the belt, I'm able to kind of 
tuck it out over here a little bit. Um, that way it brings the leg up a little more and just looks like it fits me, even though it's large. So I don't even need to take this in. I got this in a size extra small. All right, next item is this dress. It is kind of like a maxi on me, but it's technically like a mini maxi type of dress. So this one is actually kind of big on me. I just have to take the straps in um, and that's pretty much it. After I take the straps in, it should be fine. But what I loved about this dress, number one is the color, number two, I love the lace. Um, and then it also has this slit. So a couple ways I could wear this is just by itself like this, or I picture myself wearing it with like a blazer, like a cream colored blazer, um, even a black blazer could do. Also, I could just kind of like tone it down by just wearing a sweater on top of it and letting the skirt flow in the bottom. So this is what the back looks like. You can't really wear a bra with it. And then this is what the bottom of the skirt looks like. So it's not just straight down, it kind of flares a little bit. Um, and then I feel like this would look really cute with boots as well. All right, so this dress, you guys may have already seen uh, me talk about this and wear this in my what to wear and when you have nothing to wear video. Um, so this is just a shift midi dress that I got. This one comes in one other color, I believe, kind of like a mustardy color. Um, but this dress is cool because I feel like you could wear it so many different ways all throughout the year. It already does have the lining in it. Now, it's a shift dress, so it doesn't have shape. But you could always add a belt. You could dress it up by adding that belt that I got. Um, in that video I mentioned, I wore a turtleneck under this to make it more fall. And then you could just like add a coat or a leather jacket with boots. But basically, this is what the bottom looks like. It has slits on both sides. And then again, this one, like I mentioned, it looks really cute with boots. I could wear this during the summer to the beach as a beach cover-up with just a hat and some flip-flops and this dress all of a sudden is like super versatile. All right, next, top and bottom, both from Zara. What I loved about it was like the little scrunch um, it has in the center. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. And I really love the shoulders, how it kind of drapes, looks like a semi-puff sleeve. Um, it's cropped, so I feel like it looks really cute with high-waisted um, pants and things like that. I got this top in an extra small. These pants, however, I'm super, super happy that I found. This one is in an extra small small. Um, I love them because of this black um, little button that it has here and I feel like that's what makes these pants super super expensive looking. Um, I have been on the hunt for a really good pair of leather pants and this is it. So this is what the back of the pants looks like. They kind of fit me perfectly. They're kind of long and they do have like a zipper um, closure at the ankle. All right, next I got this little sparkly, shiny, metallic sweater. Um, it's not really a sweater because it's super thin. I feel like I got a lot of shiny stuff this time, but I don't have anything like this in my closet. Again, I could use this um, for the holidays, but I also feel like this could be used for like a girl's night out, maybe just throw on like a mini skirt or something like that. But I don't know, for some reason, I just really liked it. Again, I like it with high-waisted items. I could still wear gold jewelry with it. It's like mixing metals. I really like that look. This one I also got in the Zara Milan store. Um, this one I actually got in a size medium. All right, so kind of the star of the show is this teddy coat. Um, this one, again, I got at the Zara in Milan, and I posted a couple of pictures of me in Europe um, using this, and I got so many questions. So many of you guys loved it. So yes, it is from Zara. This one I got in a size extra small. I believe the extra small might be sold out by now. Um, but I do like the way it fits. I love these huge defined collars because I feel like that's what makes it look really nice and really expensive. Um, it's really cozy. It does have pockets on both sides. It hits me just like right above my knee. Um, I'm really happy about this purchase. I really love camel colors when it comes to coats because I feel like they go with so much. And that's it, that's pretty much it for this coat. All right, next shiny item. Um, I got this button down. 
in an extra small. It is like, I think they call it like lame effect or something. But what I really loved about it were these sleeves, how the sleeves already have like an elastic waistband. So if you wanted to like pull it up, um, it would be like really easy to stay in place. And then they would just look gathered just like that. This reminds me of Michael Jackson, but I feel like this is something super different. I just love the way that it looks. You could use this with like a mini skirt and boots or like some shorts, like leather shorts as well. But again, I feel like you could use this for the holiday, but you could also just use it for like a night out on just any normal season. All right, next is not shiny, but it is kind of like a turtleneck top. Not really a sweater because this is not really sweater material, um, but I love the neckline. It just looks like that, um, kind of like ribbed, and then it's the same thing on the wrist right here, and then it just kind of gives like a puffy sleeve effect, but I love the plaid. I love the colors, very fall. Um, this one I got again in an extra small, so pretty simple, just something you can throw on and just look really, really nice. So the material of this is not a sweater, but it's pretty much um, the material of like a flannel shirt. All right, so next blouse. Um, I don't think I'm gonna keep this one, but I still wanted to show you guys um, everything that I got, even stuff that I'm not keeping, because you guys might like it. Um, but the reason why I don't like this top, like I like everything about it. I like the neck, I like the sleeves, how it also has this waistband and the puffy sleeves. I just don't like the center. I don't like this gathering that it has right here. Kind of makes me feel too much like handmade-ish. So I don't like that. Not in love with this shirt so it's definitely going back but I feel like some of you guys may love that um, detail and it may look really good on some of you um, but yeah it just didn't work out on me um, I got an extra small on this one as well all right so next item are these pants so I told you guys earlier that I was on the hunt for the perfect like leather pant and so I ordered these and the ones I had on earlier that I am keeping this one I'm not keeping. Um, they're not bad. I just prefer a higher waist. This one's more of like a mid waist. It hits me right below my belly button. Um, this one's cool though because it's more of a matte leather instead of a shiny leather. So if you guys want more understated, you might really love this one. It does have a side zip. I don't love a side zip just because I feel like they're kind of unreliable at any given moment. I feel like it's just gonna snap off. So we are like three for three here on the Zara pant fitting perfectly. This length is perfect for me. So if you're around like five feet or five three, this would work really nice. I got this one again in an extra small. Um, it does have, again, the ankle zip right there. This one is more like a legging, so this won't have any pockets in the back or in the front or anything like that. And I did want to show you guys that it does have like a line right here in a V shape and then lines both down towards the middle of the leg, which does help in your favor um, look taller if you're on the shorter side. All right, so next we have these jeans, which I really loved how they looked on the model and again, we are four for four. They fit me perfectly at the ankle. I wouldn't need to get it taken in or cut them myself. These are more of like a flare leg type of jean. Um, again, they looked really good on the model and so that's kind of what sold me. Um, but I am disappointed though because these are a mid rise, but when I type in high rise, this shows up and it says it's a high rise. So these I'm not keeping. I just feel like they make my legs look a little shorter. Um, that's why I like a higher rise. But some of you guys may really love that. And so again, I wanted to show you guys even though they're going back. So these jeans I actually got in a size zero this time. So if you're an avid Zara shopper, um, kind of like I am, then you'd know that finding a size 32 or a size zero in pants at Zara, especially jeans, is super Super, super rare um, at least here in America and they fit me perfectly these jeans have a lot of stretch to them just in case you're wondering all right you guys so for the last item in this haul I have this blazer dress um, so if you guys aren't aware the blazer dress is like the it thing to have this season so I got this in an extra small and I am super super surprised that it fits me this well I mean look at these sleeves let me just come up closer. Um, the sleeves are kind of ruched over here, so it's not too long. That fits me perfectly. These shoulder pads, these shoulders that are exaggerated, it's just 
such a good dress. There's four buttons right here to kind of like hug you in. You could honestly even add a belt if you wanted to, but really all you need is the dress a clutch, some heels, and you're good to go. Obviously, this one's for holiday. I'm really happy with Zara sizing lately. I feel like they're more true to size. But really, how good is this? This is just so happy with this purchase. Not sure how many uses I'll get out of it, but it's okay, because I really love it. All right, you guys, that is it for this Zara haul. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know which item was your favorite. And if you want to see more of these hauls, as always, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Also, follow me on Instagram. I'm Naomi Boyer on Instagram because I give you daily outfit inspirations. And I'll see you in my next video.